Hey, good day, traders. This is Dave with the uh, Compass uh, System uh, Options Room. And I just wanted to put out a quick uh, Compass System trade highlights for a couple we did this week. I just took a couple of quick highlights. Um, first, we'll do our disclaimer that all signals and trading opportunities we provide uh, for uh, uh, educational demonstration purposes only. Uh, trading is very risky, so you should never trade with more money than you can afford to lose. And uh, neither myself or Rightline are licensed financial advisors, so we won't be giving financial advice. All right, so um, what we look for in the uh, in the compass room, uh, the options room, is that we look for uh, to trade the highest probability trade setups and uh, entry criteria. And this is basically a, uh, a breakdown of those. We look for uh, breakouts of what's called a dynamic compression zone that the compass system actually creates. And we're looking for Heikenashi reversal candles. Uh, if you're not familiar with Heikenashi candles, they're, they're, uh, they, they tend to smooth out the direction of the, of the trend. And uh, a reversal candle would be uh, uh, typically uh, for a long reversal, you'd have a uh, candle with a wick prior, prior to the current candle and the current candle would have a flat bottom. And we'll see that in just a minute. Uh, we're looking for a breakout in the same direction as the stock's current trend. So uh, if we're playing a trade uh, breakout of compression zone long, we want the stock to be uh, bullish on the day. Um, and we try to trade in the same direction as the current market trend if there is one. A lot of times there's not. If you have a choppy market day, you focus on the stock. Uh, we look uh, for what's called a modified leg gear for the current time frame. And I'll point that out. We, when we look at the compass system, the modified leg gear is a momentum indicator uh, that, the, uh, the leg, that the compass system uses. Uh, it's basically an oscillator that the uh, that the divergence is stripped out of, so it's it's basically just just the momentum. Um, and we also have a modified leg gear for the multi time frame. So we're looking for momentum on current time frame and multi time frames all to be go, uh, going up in the same direction or going down at the same time. Uh, and we're looking for the Bollinger Band to uh, be expanding. In other words, when you're breaking out of compression, the Bollinger Bands will widen. So that's what we're looking for. And we're also looking to trade stocks that have relative strength or relative weakness versus the SPY. So stocks that are stronger than the SPY for longs, weaker than the SPY for shorts. And uh, if it's going to be a swing trade, we want the daily chart to match the uh, trade direction as well. So if we're taking a bullish intraday trade, we want the daily chart to be bullish as well. And we also have what's called a pop out of the box signal, which adds conviction to the trade. And um, Key thing here is have patience. Uh, we're waiting for compression break is going to reduce the uh, the risk substantially. So the, what we want to cover first, so we get a couple of trades I'm going to talk about. The first one was on Oxy. Uh, this is a daily chart on Oxy. You can see this is a daily chart. This is the compass system with the, on the daily chart. Uh, it's telling us that it's bullish. Uh, this is what's called the quant line. This is the multi multi time frame of gear I was telling you about, and this basically shows that there's it, very strong momentum uh, on three different time frames. This is the current time frame, which would be the daily time frame. This also shows that it's got uh, strong momentum on the daily. And this is uh, what's called our, our confirmation line, which is a bias line, which basically shows the stock has been bullish over a longer period of time. Now in here, if you look at this uh, the shaded area right here, it's got a red and green shade area. Um, that the stock is breaking out of. That's called a dynamic compression zone. Now this is on the daily chart, and you can see that the stock has been kind of moving sideways, pulled down up, up out of the compression, down into the compression, and had a big move out of the compression zone um, on the day we traded it, which is which is right here. So this is a daily candle that we we traded off of, um, and you can see that obviously this is would not be bad for for an overnight trade because of the fact we didn't get such a strong breakout candle on uh, on oxy but the next this next uh slide right here we've got this is actually uh the five minute uh, trade on oxy now we made uh two or three different two i think we traded the stock three times uh during the day but what i want you to see here is uh this it actually had a dynamic compression zone right here that formed dynamic compression zone on, on the five minute i uh, created and then they disappear later in the day, if maybe if they, once they break out of the zone and it's not effective anymore. But in this particular case, we have compression and you can see the compression, how, how flat these candles are right here. And then right here, we get a, a break. Now, if you're looking at the 
uh, momentum candles. We've got the quant here, which I won't go into the details of the quant, but basically it's, it tells you that the other stocks that, that trade with Oxy are also moving up. This is the multi-time frame momentum. It's green. This is the multi time for the current time frame, which went to blue, and both blue and green are bullish for uh, for, for the uh, momentum oscillator of the gear. And so we this is where we bought the stock right here. And you see we had we went blue yellow and back to blue again, which tells us that the momentum is kind of oscillating around and now it's gone bullish. And so this is where we would take it right on this uh, pink candle. This is a what's called a pop out of the box signal. It's basically identifying the fact that this compression right here that's formed is being broken. This, this, this candle is broken above that compression. So this is where we get in and we, we rode this all the way up and I didn't put the exit, it was just a little bit after this candle right here. But um, that particular trade, we, we traded options on that trade and um, that returned 40% on the options. And one other trade we can want to just cover quickly. Again, this was uh, also a trade we did uh, on Friday. This is Zillow. Um, pretty easy to see that this is a this is a bearish setup. Everything's red, and you can see we've got a pop out of the box signal to the to the downside right here. And we did have a, a dynamic compression zone right in here. Uh, it disappeared after the after the the stock broke to the lower. But this is where we get into the uh, into the C. Um, right here on this candlestick, and these are Heikinachi candles. You can so, so you can see the flat tops telling you that this is a this is a bearish a bearish uh, trade right here. This is a Heikinachi reversal. This is a bearish trade. We got one little doji right here, um, but this is where we entered the trade, and we basically just wrote it down. Didn't go down an awful lot. It kind of went flat, but right here is where we get out um, on this. So we probably could have stayed in a little longer, but we we hit our uh, we hit our Profit target, and uh, that was a 15% gain, not a huge gain, but a nice gain on the uh, on the calls that we had. I'm sorry, on the puts that we had uh, that gave us a 15% gain on gain on Zillow for that day. So that's really what I just kind of want to highlight a couple of trades. This is what the Compass system does for us. You can see that this is basically telling us that their institutions are in there selling Zillow. This tells us the institutions are in there buying Oxy, and we only trade. Um, stocks that that we can confirm have institutional uh, buying or selling in them. We don't take trades that don't have uh, institutional buying selling, which is confirmed by the uh, the multi time frame and the current time frame Laguerre being both bullish or bearish. So you can see very clearly how easy this is to spotify to spot a uh, a bullish move and a bearish move. Really not a not hard to see those at, at all. So uh, that's that's what this uh, that's what this compass system does for us. And I just wanted to uh, share a couple of the trades we, we took this week. We'll be looking for a lot more like that. Uh, these the probability of, of wins on these uh, these trades is set up with all of the criteria that we specified is around 90%, a little bit higher than 90%. Uh, so um, a pretty a pretty dramatic um, win rate on a really really easy to identify um, uh, pattern. So uh, just wanted to share that with everybody and uh, hopefully you'll, uh, you'll, you'll uh, see how, how impressive this compass system is and how it can help you trading. So have a great evening and uh, that will be it till the next one. Have a great night.